Yellow warblers are undoubtedly one of the more common species out there, found basically all across North America. The advantage of being kind of common, though, is that we band and recapture them quite frequently, which allows us to gain quite a lot of important information about their ecology and habits. One of the big things that we get from banding is information such as demographics and lifespan. Over several decades of banding, we've learned that the average lifespan of small warblers like this guy is around the scale of two to three years. That's an average lifespan, though, and it gets pulled down by very high juvenile mortality. The maximum lifespan of these birds can reach somewhat shocking heights. Take this handsome fellow, for instance. He looks just the same as any other yellow warbler, but when we captured him, he already had a band. When we queried that band number, we found that he was one of ours, banded eight years before. Now here's something to remember. Yellow warblers migrate every single year. They're a longer distance migrant too, traveling down south of the Gulf of Mexico. This little guy who weighs in at about 10 grams has made that journey eight times. Even if we conservatively estimate that he was traveling to the northern edge of his overwintering range, say in the Yucatan or something like that, we get a total migration distance of... almost 70,000 kilometers. That's enough to almost circumnavigate the entire planet. Twice. And that's not even the oldest these birds can get. The longevity record for yellow warblers, the oldest bird ever recorded, was at least 11 years old. I say at least 11 years old because that bird was already a full adult when she was banded, and once birds get to a certain age, you stop being able to figure out when they were originally hatched. So, uh, yeah. Birds get old, man. 